Your, your music gonna sound like shit. Yeah, I'm the one dribble the ball, huh? I'm the one making the calls, huh? These little niggas, you small, huh? I walk the walk and you crawl, yeah. My flow is litty, my swag is filthy. Yo, bitch, she creamy. No, you can't see me. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all my subscribers and followers. It's your boy The Wave, and I'm coming back to you again with something hot, something fresh, something new. Today, we're gonna be talking about. The three basics to any mix and any song, it don't matter the genre, it don't matter the niche, these are the three basics that I use and every professional uses for all their songs and all, you know, music and things that they use. First thing first, EQ. If you're not EQing, be it a beat, uh, your vocals or whatever it is, if you're not EQing, EQing is a major part of doing music because it's what takes out the mud and brings out the essence of the artist, you know. And it's also what brings out the best parts of the vocal or the beat. So EQing is, you know, very essential to any, any, even in movies, in anything. EQing is, is one of those things that if you don't got it, your, your music gonna sound like shit. Number two, the second thing that I would say is essential to any music, any song, any beat, any movie, whatever you wanna call it, whatever you wanna do, is reverb. Reverb is the sauce to every thing. Like, reverb, like, it's reverb in this room right now. Like, it may not be good for like this, but reverb is the, is the, when you singing in the shower, why your vocals sound so good. That echo that you hear, or that, that spacey sound that you hear, that's reverb. And that could be the make or break of any track or any, you know, any song. Especially for singers, reverb is, is you need that. Because if you got dry vocals, then, and you're a singer, I mean, it may sound good, but it won't sound good, good. The third thing that I want to talk about is compression. Compression is also essential, but to me personally, I feel like reverb is just the juice. But we're talking about compression right now. We're talking about compression. Compression is what makes everything sit in the mix. So if I got a beat that's too loud, or if I got a beat that's that the snares or the, the kicks and everything is hitting too hard. Compression will bring everything to like the middle of your track. And it's the same way with vocals, uh, especially for singers when they go high and then they go low. Uh, you use compression to bring your highs to meet the lows and the lows to, to meet, to meet the, the highs. Compression is used throughout everything. Also, um, it makes everything sound more tight and uh, equal if you will. Those are the three basics to any track, any any song, any beat. If you're a producer, EQ, reverb, compression. If you're an artist and you're trying to get into engineering or mixing or whatever you want to call it, it's going to be the same things. I guarantee you any professional, name me one professional engineer or not even professional, like name me one well-known engineer or producer that does not use those three things. Those three things are essential to any mix, any song, any 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 movie, any video clip. Like you, you could do it to this also. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. All my names and how you spell is gonna be right here below. Turn on them post notifications. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping two to three videos a week talking about you know everyday stuff. Let me know what you want to know next. Let me know what you want to hear next. Let me know what you think about this video. We out. Yeah, I'm the one dribble the ball, huh? I'm the one making the calls, huh? These little niggas, you small, huh? I walk the walk and you crawl, yeah. My flow is litty, my swag is filthy. Yo, bitch, she creamy. No, you can't.